Christina and welcome to Soundwave TV. We are backstage at Soundwave Brisbane with the legendary Rob Zombie back again. How are you going, yeah, Rob? I'm back. It's all good. Good to be back. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Nice and hot. Yeah. What, do you, <laughs> what have you been up to lately in film or music? What have I been up to lately? Uh, well, I've been finishing up work on the script for my next film and we started recording a new record and we've been doing a bunch of touring. Already? Yeah, yeah. You're recording another one after Venomous Rat Regeneration yeah, yeah. Bender. Yeah, you know, we're half done with it, yeah. Wow. When making your new album, did the visual scenes come first or the lyrics and the music? Yeah. It comes however. I mean, the, the music always comes first. Always comes first. And then once I start, I mean, not finished songs per se, but just any riffs or drum beats or anything. And once I hear it, I'll immediately start picturing things in my mind and that'll sort of become the become the lyrics after after the fact. So yeah, you know, the, but it always starts with the music. How important is it each of your band members sort of have a character to play on stage? Like, is that a sort of a part, do you think, of well, the I've Rob Zombie experience? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I've always wanted everybody in the band to be distinctive yeah. because those are always my favorite types of bands, be it the Beatles or Kiss. Every member of the band was distinctive. It wasn't like, oh, I recognize him and who are the other guys. Yeah. So that was what I always wanted. I always wanted that with White Zombie, any band. I never just wanted it to be about me and nothing else. So I always encouraged them to be, you know, make their own side of the stage special. Now you uh, got a few side shows coming up yeah, yeah. Um, with Corn. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what kind of a history? When did you guys first meet? I think we. we my first solo tour, when I went solo, was with Korn. We did a thing called Rock is Dead. I, well, maybe it wasn't the first tour, but it was close. That was 1999. Wow. That was the first tour we did together. And then um, we did a Mayhem a couple summers ago, and we just did this Night of Living Dreads thing. So we've done quite a few shows together over the years. You know, it's hard to find bands to, that um, your music is compatible. Yeah and that you really like the guys in the band. I mean, usually all the bands are cool guys, but yeah. it doesn't mean that musically it makes for good tours. And Korn is one of the best matches we've ever found to tour. What was it like, the Night of the Living Dreads? It was great. I mean, we had a blast. I mean, those guys are in a really good place, and it was nice to have that they had Head back in the band because he hadn't been in a while. I mean, he was in them back in the day when we toured with them. But, you know, they're all super cool, and they're fun to be on. They would come on stage and play with us almost every night. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's cool. Awesome. working on the film and a new record yes yeah kind of so, heavier kind of a vibe or? i don't know what's going on we recorded a whole bunch of stuff a few months ago and we're going to go back to it in may yeah. yeah some of it's really heavy and really i just want to you know it's just crazy the, the the music because these days i don't care about hit singles and that stuff because it doesn't matter anymore and so you can just really go in there and do crazy shit you can have a bit more fun really can't you well there's no pressure because no one's going to buy the record anyway so it doesn't really fucking matter anymore Everyone's going to steal it, so, you know. You making any new videos or anything soon? Uh, I don't really make that many videos anymore, only because it seems sort of pointless. It used to be fun to make videos, but now, you know, we did, we did two off this record. Yeah, they're I mean, fun. We really did one, and we did one live video, which is kind of a cop-out. But in May, we have a full-length concert coming out movie oh, that we did. And we didn't just want to film a show. We made it more like a movie, so um, cool. pretty excited about that. So when you say it's more of a film than just a DVD, what... Um, you kind of go into the whole like backstage experience. No, and not really. Of... I mean, it's just basically the concert. But I feel like most concerts now, you know, they, they set up like six positions with HD cameras and they just film it. Yeah. And it looks like a TV Boring. show. Yeah. But like when you watch like Song Remains the Same or something, it looks like a movie, like the way they shot it. And we went back and redid that. Did it that way. Old Excellent. School. Cool. with um, the new film, which isn't Broad Street Bullies, contrary to popular opinion. Yeah, no, Broad Street Bullies seemed like it was going to take too long. So I thought, well, I have enough time in between, I think, to do another film. Because yeah. certain films are just more, it's just take, I mean, when you're doing something based on true life events and you need to get the rights in place for everything and you need the okay of the National Hockey League, it's, it's just, there's so much stuff you got to get through. So I thought, rather than sit and wait for all this to happen, I'll just go shoot another film in the meantime. So yeah, I, no one knows what it is yet. I'm, I haven't told anyone, but yeah, that's probably going to start in September. Yeah. Are you, so it's like Devil's Rejects. It's kind it's of not that kind like of, it. I mean, well, it's not similar that, But I energy. thought I thought that people that like that movie would it'd be. Yeah. So it's a horror possible. kind of a. Thought. Yeah, it's a pretty unhinged sort of thing. Yeah. Cool. So you're writing it. Yeah, it's yeah. done actually. I finished it already. Yeah. You know, I'm waiting to get some um, 
I hired an artist to do some like a teaser poster, so soon we'll release that and everyone can get a first look at what it's all about. Wait, and you've got um, Sherry, your wife out is out here with you, yeah? Yeah, she's around here somewhere. I think she's watching Alice in Chains right now. Cool, so you guys are doing Q&A and stuff later this week. Oh yeah, in Melbourne. We're doing a screening of Devil's Rejects and doing a little Q&A, yeah. How did you guys meet? We met about, we met 21 years ago at a show in, uh, on the East Coast. Just by, totally random. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, it must be fun kind of getting to work with each other and, you know, so many films. And, oh, it's great. I mean, it, it's almost like... Um, Working with Sherry and a lot of the other actors, it's almost like, maybe I just have a band mentality because you have your group of people that you work with and I've taken it to the movies. Yeah. So it's almost like I'm getting the band back together when we make a movie. Yeah. And I like that, you know, because I like feeling that when I watch the movie, the people in it are my friends and it all makes sense to me, yeah. you know. And you, yeah, you kind of get a sense of who they are as people and get to kind of write things around them? Or? Well, yeah, because sometimes you hire an actor for a film and you know that person doesn't really they might be a great actor and they might do a great job, but they don't really care. It's just a job to them. And I've always liked, even in all the music videos, everybody in the videos are people somehow connected to my world because I never wanted it to just be this sort of empty experience. You know, I see bands sometimes, they'll hire this, you can tell they hired this model to be in the video. And it doesn't mean it. Yeah, very I, I look back on all the videos and everybody in it is somebody who is meaningful in my life at some point. Where do you feel more in control? In uh, the music side of things or the film side of things? Every side. You're, in, always, you're in the driver's seat, Rob Zombie. I have to be. I mean, there's no. I mean, if I'm not in control, who the hell is? Nobody else. I mean, it's like there's no. I wish someone. I could look to somebody else, but there's nobody there. Hey, you take over. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, someone has to be the bad guy.